Hey, Facebookers. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? It's a beautiful Thursday. It's actually already, can you believe it, the 4th of April, 2019. I cannot believe it. Like, a maze around the corner. And next month, my daughter is going to be 21, which leads me to the amazing conversation I want to have this morning around the single mother diary. So for all of you all know me, you know that for about 17, 18, no, no more than that, for about 18, 17 good years, yeah, I've been a single mama. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, I'm proud to be a single mother because that's not the case at all. It's not, it's far from it. It's just what has happened. It's just what has been. And I just roll with it as it has turned up in my life. So if I'm tagging you in this post, it's not because I'm saying, oh, well, you're a single mom, not at all. I'm tagging you. Hi, Nemo. Hi, Bernard. Hi, Papa. I'm not tagging you because you're necessarily a single mom. I'm tagging you because all of us know a single mother. And next month, my daughter is 21. And it would have been 17 years since I've been a single mom with her. And then I got married and found myself a single mother from day one with my son who turns eight in September. So, uh, 98% of 99%, 99.9% of my parenting life, I have been a single mother. And so, um, you know, it's not, it's not what I had wanted for myself. Hi, Janessa. Congrats on your book. Well done. I remember the early conversations we had around that. Um, it's not something that I would have wanted. It's not what I really needed. Um, but it's what has happened to me. Hi, Andrew. And as a result of that, I have just embraced it. I have just, you know, when life throws you stuff, you have to learn to embrace Hi, Carol. Long time no talk, girl. Um, do you like the hair, Carol? I know you're going to be very proud. Um, Carol, I have something to talk to you about. Um, my daughter and I are doing some stuff around here, and I'm going to share that with you in an inbox. I know you're not a mother, Andrew, but I'm sure you know somebody who's a mother. We all know somebody who's a single mother. So I have come together with uh, 12 other women, and we are about to launch the first um, volume one of the single mother's diary. And it's not about doom and gloom. Cause I want you to understand that it is really highlighting single mothers who have broken the narrative, who have changed the narrative, who have shifted the trajectory of what could have been something more serious and turn it into something really positive. They have defied the odds of a one parent home. And I have some amazing stories in the current book. I have people who've got OBE. So order of British extinction. Excellent. Sorry. Um, I've got one head teacher who has an OBE. I have bankers and, and lawyers and, and people work in prime minister's offices and myself. I have some amazing. Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie, did you get my message this morning, girlfriend? Mm -hmm. We need to finish that, that thing by next month. Mm -hmm. So welcome, Stephanie. Stephanie and I are working on her book, which is an amazing read. If you're not following Stephanie, Please follow her. And now she has a fantastic story that just shifts the lives. And when I look at what Stephanie has done with her tragedy and how she has just stepped up and start walking in her greatness and power, I tell you, you want to read that story. So look out for Stephanie's book. It is coming out real soon. And I can't wait to share that with you. So when I look at myself as a single mother, it's not been an easy journey, but I think in a lot of respects, I'm a good example. And I'm not saying I'm a perfect example because I'm not. I'm a good example of what a single mother can accomplish. And so I really want to start. We've started volume two. We've already got applicants. Um, there's, uh, I had two conversations yesterday around the book. If you know anybody who wants to be in volume two, I know that some people didn't get the chance to be in volume one. We had a cutoff point of 12 people I didn't want more than 12 so if you know anybody who's interested in getting involved in the single mother diary then please um, the details are there please email Sarah at avabrown.org um, well done on your invoice thank you very much Mo how are you doing and um, 
let's have the conversations the single mother anthology volume one the launch is going to be different it's one like you've never seen before it's not a regular book launch where people turn up and talk uh -uh, it's different and we're keeping it all very hush hush Shh. we also got a traditional book deal from the u.s hush hush so um it's really amazing so if you want to be involved in the single mother diary please email sarah um there is um uh, um, there is a cost so I need to tell people up front because you know people come and they say well I'm a single mother I ain't got no money so do I you know and I understand that and I don't take that I don't I don't buy into that narrative that because you're a single mother you don't have money because if you keep thinking like that then that will become your reality so um, there is a cost implication please inbox us and we'll have that conversation but um, you know single mothers all over the world um, are doing amazing stuff it's not necessarily that they beg to be this person it's not that they some of them ask to be this it could be death that made them a single mother I've got one lady in my book you know her partner died and that left her a single mother I've got another lady her partner committed suicide that left her a single mother I've got somebody else whose partner cheated and and ran off you know it, the stories are just vast mine my 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 then husband married me for his visa so you know our stories are different and so I was left with a child with um with two children one 14 years older than the other so that's how I became a single mother it wasn't my intention it wasn't what I wanted again because I didn't I did it before but life happens and it's how I want to talk to single mothers who have taken their stories and their, their, their challenges from being a single parent and have turned it into amazing stuff and also look at the children and the product of these single parent homes that's the story I want to tell I want to tell the victory story I want to tell how women are rising above the, the, the negative narrative there's something in the, in, the, in, the, in the papers the other day, the Guardian, saying that most of the stabbing in London is kind of you know, it's kind of around the whole single parent home, I don't believe that's the case there are lots of single parents whose children are not stabbing and killing each other and I'm not been insensitive I'm really sorry to hear that and I don't like seeing it um, it breaks my heart to see children being stabbed but all those kids who got into problems were not from single parent homes and and that's one of the things that we need to look at so kudos to you who are having your partner standing beside you I respect that for all the men who are standing beside their partners amazing stuff I I, I, I literally you know just raise my hat and my bandana off to you this morning and for all the women who decided that you know what this is where I'm at. I'm going to hone my story. I'm going to take where I'm at. I'm going to turn it into something amazing. Kudos to you. For all the single mothers who might need some help, this is an opportunity for you to get involved with somebody like myself or the woman in the current book and let us have the conversation about the tips and the tools. The other thing that the book teaches is what did we learn from this story? And so we're leaving nuggets to help other single women to thrive. If you don't know who I am, I'm Dr. Ava Eagle Brown. I'm a life book and business strategist. I help you to write your story stories write your books it doesn't have to be a story I help you to put together the narrative of exactly what you want to do so let us say for example you are a teacher or you are a computer scientist or you are a trainer there are books that you can write that when you go to do your stuff you can sell them so I don't just help you write stories I help you create books to sell at events to leave a mark to go places your feet will never go I also help women who are struggling to start their businesses from the nine to five to step out of that game and plan to, to do the transition. If any of those appeal to you, please inbox me. I also want to talk to people who are looking for speakers. I'm a great speaker and I'm going to tell you I am because I know I am. I'm just going to say it out loud. So if any of those things appeal to you or if you want to just have a chat, Ava, I'm stuck in my life and I don't know how to move on. Let us have the conversation. Once again, it's Dr. Ava Eagle Brown. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. If you haven't bought my book, The Mango Girl, please click Amazon and get it. If you are not following me on social media, please do so. And I can't wait to talk to you. Have a great day. Tag this. Share another single mother who you know this might benefit. Have a great day. And don't forget, if you're interested, please come now because spaces are limited. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.